let's go over complex conjugates. So we have a complex conjugate. All you need to do is you take your original, here's your term, and keep the, the two terms the same, switch the sign. So the complex conjugate of 7 minus 8i is 7 plus 8i. Here we have 3 plus 5i. Well, the complex conjugate is going to be 3 minus 5i. And now, if you remember, when we multiplied in this example here, well, 3 plus 2i is the complex conjugate to 3 minus 2i. And when we multiplied them, out came a real number. So when you are given something like this, a 10 divided by 2 minus i, we don't ever want to see that imaginary number in the denominator. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the fraction by the complex conjugate of the denominator. So let's get started. I'm going to start out with my original 10 divided by 2 minus i. So I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the complex conjugate of my denominator. The complex conjugate of 2 minus i is 2 plus i. And now notice I have, I mean, this is just a number and this is just a number. If you have a number over itself, you're using a, having a fraction with the, the, num, the value is the same in the numerator as it is in the denominator, well, the value of this fraction is just one. So we're not changing the value of our original. We are just kind of manipulating it into, into a form A plus BI. So what I'm going to do now, and again, I'm going to do this step by step. As you get comfortable with this, you will not need to show so many steps. I'm just going to rewrite this as one fraction. So I have 10 times 2 plus i all over the quantity 2 minus i times the quantity 2 plus i. Okay, so now I'm just going to use my distributive property. I'm just going to start working it through. 10 times 2 is 20. 10 times i is 10i all over 2 times 2 is 4 2 times i is 2i negative i times 2 is a negative 2i notice your middle terms are going to canceling each other out negative i times i is a negative i squared okay so now we're just going to clean it up now Positive 2i minus 2i, that reduces out. And also remember, i squared equals negative 1. So let's just clean this up a little bit. I can't really do anything with the numerator yet. So I'm going to keep that as 20 plus 10i all over 4 minus i squared. And i squared is negative 1. And again, remember that i squared, it literally, it just flips the sign. The coefficient of i squared here is 1. So, of course, this is going to turn it to a positive 1, which we will see here. So, I get 20 plus 10i all over 4 plus 1. And again, simplify 20 plus 10i all over 5. Now we have to be careful here. We can reduce, but remember this five in the denominator is dividing the 20 and it is dividing the 10i. These are terms. Terms are separated by addition or subtraction. And so we cannot just reduce it out in one term. We have to do it to both. So again, remember this is the same as 20 divided by five plus 10i divided by 5. And let's simplify. 20 divided by 5 is 4 plus 10i divided by 5 is 2i. And now we are in that form a plus bi. 